Now that we've cleaned the skin, we've also placed the electrodes. When you're placing the EMG electrodes, what you want to make sure of is that the electrodes run in line with the muscle fibers. So what we can see here is the temporalis, which fans out over the head, is set up with the electrode here. Now, electrode placement, you have to be careful not to put the electrode over hair. So what we've done is we've placed the temporalis between the eyebrow and the hairline. With the masseter, I've palpated the masseter here, please clench, and I can feel the masseter running right along this line and set the electrode here. The electrical contacts in the electrode are, there's one here and one here, and we want to make sure that those contacts run in line with the muscle fiber. And one of the other things that you'll see here is that the electrodes have little flaps on them. Here's one, and here's the other. These flaps are where we will attach the alligator clips from the EMG wires. The rest of the electrode placement is like this. Please look up. You notice we have the digastric electrodes here. The easiest way to place these is to simply run them along the ridge of the jawbone. For the SCM here and here, what we do is we have the patient turn their head all the way to one side and then look down. And you see how that pulls that rope-like muscle and sh makes it much more easy to see. Then we just take the electrode, run it right along that muscle, again, in line with the muscle fibers, and have it attached there. The last electrode that we want to attach is just right here on the shoulder. This is the ground electrode. Now, all we need to do is to stick it there, but remember, you also need to clean the skin there as well. Now that we're done placing the electrodes, we just want to go through real quick, just make sure they're all pressed on nice and tight. We have clean, dry skin, and now we're ready to place the EMG wires.